It's time to review the carbonized graphite second sister. Hey guys, me host Super Bizarro, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's the second sister, and it's the graphite carbonized version. It was an eventful fast Friday. <laughs> we managed to get a nice hookup from the guys over at In Demand Toys and I managed to get this. So I'm really happy to be reviewing this guys. It's the second sister Inquisitor number 95 in the collection. But let's go ahead straight to the desk cam and take a look at this box because it is so nice and shiny. It's different to the other boxes. So let's go check out the packaging first of all. So guys, this is the second sister from the Star Wars Black Series line as a part of Fallen Jedi Order. Sorry, Jedi Fallen Order. And it's the second sister Inquisitor. And this is the carbonized graphite version, which means she's extra shiny. <laughs> and if we turn on this side, you can see she's number 95 in the collection. And on the back again, you see a nice holographic 95. The box has got a nice shiny gloss feel to it this time. Again, I think that's because it's the graphite version. And we've got a little story on the back here that goes with the character that explains more about her. A vengeful warrior of the Empire tasked with tracking down the Jedi survivors, the second sister Inquisitor is driven by her all-encompassing hatred of the Order. Awesome. So this is an awesome looking figure and I can't wait to break her out of the packaging. There is all the, the, this on this side actually, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so you see you've got second S there, and then in red, second sister Inquisitor, so that's pretty nice. These graphite boxes are pretty cool. But I can't wait to break her out, so let's get her out of the packaging, guys. Alright guys, so you're probably wondering who is the second sister? Who is the second sister? Let's take a look at Star Wars Databank and have a quick look at that as well. So here is the Star Wars Databank that states, Ambitious and cruel, the second sister is one of the deadliest members of the Imperial Inquisition. She relishes hunting down both force-sensitive and political dissent sorry, dissidents, for the Empire. Although she is an expert lightsaber duelist and adept with the dark side of the Force, the Second Sister's great weapon is her brilliant ability to deduce and predict the behaviour of her prey. Awesome. So guys, I want to give these people a shout out this week. Thank you very much for watching all my videos and commenting. I really mean it. So these guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. As well, guys, if you want to subscribe a shout out, all you've got to do is leave an awesome comment down below, and your comment may be chosen for a shout out. Let's break her out of the packaging. Super happy. Right, where are my trusty scissors? I'm so excited. I haven't got Cal yet. I'm still waiting on Cal. Can't wait to get him. But we do have a purge trooper. So, pur purge trooper is going to get reviewed next, because after reading all that, obviously, the purge troopers and what, what, what we've seen in the trailer for the video game, the Purge Troopers look to be like her troopers that help her hunt down the Jedi. Ooh, what are they for? We've got two of the little, little pad things over there for. She does come with the awesome Inquisitor blade as well. Oh, why would you do that? Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. Do these come out as well? Yes, they do. So the little red blades will come out as well. It does not spin though. Shameful. Come on, Hasbro, would it have taken you a thing to make that so you could hold it and spin it? Come on. That's the main thing about the, uh, the Inquisitors. Oh, as well, with the return of Clone Wars, I wonder if they'll finish off Darth Maul's arc from where they left it. Because they left Darth Maul's arc where he'd been captured by the Emperor and told that he would have a new purpose and he wouldn't be killed, he would be spared because he had another purpose for him. Which obviously we later find out that he's, he's trying to find the holocrons or something. But I'm not sure if he's still with the Emperor at that point, whether he's still working for the Emperor when it gets to Rebels. So I'd like a little bit of an interlude story from, uh, the people, from uh, Clone Wars. Because how cool would it be if Darth Maul trained all the Inquisitors in two-handed saber combat. Oh my god, how how much is she tied in here? This is insane. Oh my god, Hasbro. They had that tiny waist being held in by a little tiny like rope tight that you couldn't barely see because of the cloak. Whew. 
nearly broke the figure in half then. Right. She's free. Okay, so the second sister in Quizzes. Bear in mind, this is the graphite version, like I said. I don't have the original version to compare her to, so I am sorry about that, first of all. I only have this version of her. Oh, that's where they go. Ah. So she did come with some black pauldron pieces that look like they're just going to clip into her neck there. One and two. Why wouldn't they be in fitted from the box. See she's without the cloak. Uh, I don't have the original version to compare it to so I'm not sure the difference between this one and the graphite one just yet. But this is the graphite version of her. Um, and she's awesome. Let me go ahead and get that cloak back on. Ah because you wouldn't have the pauldron pieces with the cloak. I see why now. So you'd have those pauldron pieces if she wasn't wearing the cloak. But if we're wearing the cloak, which, why wouldn't you be wearing the cloak? You need to take those pieces off to clip the cloak back on. Awesome figure though, I'm really liking this look. She's so cool. I'm liking the red on the silvery black as well, it just pops real nice. Yeah. With the big cloak and stuff. Articulation, so let's take a look at that as well. So her head is on a ball joint, so you can make a look up and down as well as left and right. You can move her arms up at the top hinge there as well as rotate. The elbow hinge there as well, it's that new fancy elbow hinge that just slides into place and also rotates. Hands are on ball joints. She has got the waist sort of swivel here. I'm not too fond of using it though, it feels very... Ooh. Is there a waist swivel? I'm not sure if there is without nearly breaking her. What is going on in that hinge? Uh, the legs do lift out though, pretty far. Uh, this skirt piece does lift up a little bit to allow more extra movement. Um, as well as forwards with a top thigh cut, double hinged knee, no boot cut, but the foot is on a rocker and pivot. Awesome. She does come, like I said, with her trusted two-handed saber. The Inquisitor style saber. If they've made the second system quiz, I know she's kind of one of the main characters from the video game, but because now they've got the mould, can we expect other Inquisitors now to become a part of the line? Like we would like the I love the Grandmaster Inquisitor. That's just such an iconic character. But also the fifth brother, the ninth sister, there's so many versions we could do. Uh, the seventh sister. It'd be so cool to include some of them. Oh yeah, she looks badass. Guys, let's get over to the desk cam, where you guys are going to be able to get a proper up close personal look at this figure, because this camera is not doing it justice. Let's get over to the desk cam. Alright guys, here she is, it's the seventh sister. Sorry, the second sister, is it the seventh sister? The second sister. And she looks badass. I am loving this figure. What I'm not loving too much are these feet joints, oh my god. I'm going to have to heat these bad boys up to get her to stand properly, she's currently a bit cockeyed, the legs are a bit weird. The feet don't want to move on them hinges. They're so annoying. I have to heat those bad boys up just to get it to stand properly. But I'm using a little stand here just to get it to stand for the review. Um, so the actual cloak, I love the design of it. I like how it looks. I'm loving the insignia on the arm and the style they've gone for. Her helmet has that Darth Vader kind of look to it with a bit of like Kylo Ren, maybe a bit of even um, Darth Revan kind of in there. I love the design of it. Again, I wish we'd have got an unmasked head as well, but maybe that's a spoiler for the game, so they don't want to give that away just yet. A lot of people have a lot of different theories about who's under the mask. I doubt any of them will be true. I think it'll be an original character, but you never know. But she just looks badass in this nice graphite look as well. The silver is like a bit shinier and pops. Same with the helmet. It's got like a silver sheen to it that just makes it look really awesome. I think, I think the second sister is going to be one of everyone's favourite characters when that game comes out. She just looks like an absolute badass hunting down Jedi with her Inquisitor lightsaber, which, by the way, is super long. Shame it doesn't spin, but that's a different story for a different day. Don't forget, guys, I have already reviewed the Sith Trooper from earlier on when we got the, uh, the Comic-Con releases, so I do already have the, that one reviewed, so please do go check out that review. As well, guys, um, during these releases, I did manage to get my hands on an early release 
of the Emperor, and we have reviewed him as well, so please check him out as well. Arise, second sister, my Inquisitor. Yeah. So cool. It looks so awesome. We can't have... We need to bring in Vader. Most excellent, my master. Yeah. Do you think she's going to be a popular character, guys, when it get when the whole story comes out? Are you looking forward to playing the game yourself? Let me know in the comments below. But guys, let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, what are your thoughts on the second sister? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, guys, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us keep making awesome videos. Tune in next time, which should be very soon, as we unbox the Purge Trooper to go along with our seventh, is our second sister. I keep talking about calling her seventh, second sister. And uh, it's the Purge Trooper. So we're real happy about that, guys. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel. Make sure you smash subscribe and the like button. Leave us some fancy comments down below for shout-outs. And I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.